the first thing we want to do now that we've got the font set up is we want to create our first file. This is going to be our first design or app or web or whatever we're creating in here. So as long as you're on the figma.com website and you're logged in, if you look in the upper left here, you're going to see that we have a plus, which means new file. Now you're going to find this in a lot of places. You're going to see over here in the menu, you'll see new file, a lot of places to get this done. But go ahead and click on the plus. And all it's going to do is it's going to create a brand new file that doesn't have a lot going on, okay? It's a little weird actually, but you'll see the full workspace out here and you'll see we have our toolbar up here. You can see all the different tools. We have over on the left, this is actually layers currently and pages. We can do pages in here. Down here, you'll actually see we can work with components. These are similar to symbols and the reusable content like a button you wanna use 16 times or a header or a footer. And then we also have shared team libraries, which is a professional team feature. You can see right there, we need to upgrade if we wanted to do that. Out in the middle is our design area. This is our canvas. And you can see I actually have rulers showing. You might or might not show those right now. If you come under the menu in the upper left corner here, you'll see that we have all of our commands now. These are all our menus. If you come under view, you can see rulers right there. If you don't see them, go ahead and turn them on right now by choosing it. And you'll also see the keyboard commands to the right there. Now to the far right, you'll see the properties. These are all the properties for everything you're working on. Right now, this is for the canvas. So if you want to, you can go in and set the color of the canvas. You can make it this color, you can do that, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to leave it as is or something like that. And there's a lot of other options under here. If you want to see a pixel preview at 1x or 2x or show the grid, if you zoom in far enough, you can actually see it. It's a little grid of things and export options. You also have prototype. This is how we set up the prototyping, how we can work with it. And code, if you want to see code for the content or the object you have selected, for instance. I'll click back on design. And you'll see up here we have who's working on it. This is, if you have multiple people and you shared this, you can actually see them all up here and see their cursors out here usually. You can share it with other people. You can also come right here and present it, which is kind of a quick way to just see what it looks like in a blank browser window. Over here, you can see the settings we have. These are great, showing, turning things on and off, viewing, zooming if you want to, and export. Now I wanna change the name of this. So if you come up here, you're gonna see we have, this is now a draft and it's untitled. If you click on the arrow to the right, you're gonna see we can do things like duplicate it, move it, do all kinds of things here. I'm gonna double click or click on untitled right there and let's change it to my travel, whoops, app. And then press enter return. And there we go. So we now have our file created. We've named it if we want to and now let's go take a look at it. So if you come back to the upper left corner here and click on the menu, go back to the files, you should actually see it in there, My Travel App. Now the other thing we can do too, is if you come to Recent right here, you should also see it here, My Travel App, because it's something that we are about to work on and we're gonna start. Now when it comes to the files you create, you're gonna see it's gonna tell you like when it was created or updated. Over here on the right, you can see a series of three dots there. If you click on those, you can do things like open it, new tab, share it with people, name it, duplicate it, delete it, remove from Recent. So there's a lot of things we can do here. Double click on it to open it up and it should open it back up here. Now make sure that on the left over here, you actually see the layers in the lower left corner down there and you also see design. That way we can get started.